It was designed to be a city worthy of a queen. Princess Anne, that is. Annapolis has gone by many names. The Puritans called it Providence when they landed here. It's been called the sailing capital of the U.S. And some say it's the Athens of America. It is known for a wealth of culture and generous hospitality. We found Annapolis to be a town designed for sailboat life. Good morning. Uh, we have a mission today. Lunar Lander has been acting up. And uh, I think it's a spark plug related issue or a carburetor. Either way, we're going to run into town to pick up my buddy Corey. And he and I are going to go find some spark plugs as well as a few other parts for boating, right? So, anyway, come along and we'll have some fun. All right. BR6 HS10 is my spark plug. They have it. It's only $3.99. If that fixes the motor, we're going to be in good business. So. How about we go to the Maritime Naval Museum? What if we go to Uncle Bob's Fudge Kitchen? Oyster Bar. McGarvey's Irish Pub. Biddy and Bo's Coffee Shop. Let's go to Puster's and grab some rum. Annapolis Capitol Building. The U.S. Naval Academy. Well, I don't know where we're going, but we're definitely going to downtown Annapolis, for sure. Let's go. First stop is a little food. Food? Yes. And I think we've decided on McGarvey's. What do you think? Yes. You I, know some McGarvey's, don't I you? I know some McGarvey's and they're yes. Irish too. Oh no, it's going to be awesome. Can't wait. They're already at the barn. Look at that, look at that. So far McGarvey's is hitting on all cylinders. Very proud of their work here. That's a, Mm. And you didn't good. make a face. They're good. <laughs> really good. Do I make faces? What kind of faces do I make? No, if it were to be, I would have been like, <laughs> to each his own. No, these things are great. I can't wait. And the crab. The crab dick. The crab dick was amazing. My face? <laughs> that was his face. Lunch was good. It's good. McGarvey's, yeah. So cool. And then where to now? We went to the capital. Oh, lovely. Okay. Street that I thought we should go up because we kept walking straight, but we found it. <laughs> kind of found it. Kind of. We're going to cross the street again. Okay, let's do it. All right, no one's looking. Let's go. Carter, come on. Lovely little street. What do you think about the town here? It's so cute. It's okay. such a cute little town. Here is a white oak. This is Maryland State Tree right here. Look at that. A white oak, everyone. White oak. No, just being goofy. This is beautiful. Having a great time. Uh, craving ice cream really badly right now. Yep. Who else is craving? Like Everybody crumb. walking by has ice cream in their hand except for us. <laughs> chocolate, or, chocolate or vanilla? That's a silly question to ask. Chocolate. Kiddo? Extra fudgy, extra fudgy. Cookies and Oreo? Cookies no, and cream? fudgy chocolate. I'm going chocolate too. It's going to happen. Here we are at the Capitol. Look at this. Nice. All right, step aside. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Did you know that this was the capital of the United States? Oh, before DC was. Yeah, look at that. 
from 1783 to 1784. What do you no think? No wonder it's so fancy. <laughs> it is fancy. Look at that. What? Would you like to live at the governor's house? I do want to live at the governor's house in the middle of the square there. Let's see if we can see it's from back over there. It's super fancy. So here we are at the Capitol building. I just don't want to do the governor's work. I don't feel like we can get to the front of the Capitol building. Everywhere we go, we're behind it. So we'll get to it in a second here. That street to go to the ice cream factory. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, tell us about it. All so unique, so different. Yeah, these are pretty cool houses. Some of them are offices, but these are all houses. Yeah, these look like residences. Pretty cool. Cute. Super cute. Built in the 1800s, historical buildings. I was right. I knew where it was the whole time and I had to leave them here. Right next door to the Bidian Let's grab a scoop or two. Three. Or three. Today I'm going to try the deep, deep chocolate. It's amazing. Mmm. It's good. It's good ice cream. <laughs> Okay, so today I decided that we'd finally clean out the dinghy. Uh, it's been something I've been wanting to do since I've been paddling around a lot lately. So that's what we're doing today. I have the life jackets hanging on the lines drying because they've been sitting in a little bit of water. Uh, I'm going to get the trash bag to the locker in the front and I'm going to clean out the mud from the anchor. Got a little helper with the dinghy today. And then I'm just going to do a little deep cleaning in the cockpit of the dinghy. So that's what I'm doing today. Okay, so we just took a breakfast break from cleaning the dinghy. It's looking a lot better now, but we're not finished. Uh, we're gonna go get what done? We're going to use that half clean dinghy to go get a new spark plug for the dinghy. I didn't realize the uh, the outboard had two spark plugs. Don't laugh. Uh, <laughs> never looked before. So I need to go grab a second one. My deep socket driver is coming in the mail tonight. So we'll be able to install those new spark plugs tomorrow. Mocha's like, where's my French toast, mommy? You can have your all food, that's it. We just got back from the store. We're gonna get to the mud next because there's some mud in the back, so. <laughs> like, this is where I clean. That's where I did it. And I'm also going to finish pumping out the water here. It's got more water in it, so I'm gonna pump that out. And I'm using the inflatable boat and fender cleaner protector. I'm also using this little skirt brush. So I wasn't quite sure how much to use. Hopefully that will be enough. Might be too much too, but um, we're gonna go for it. Um, but yeah, I'm very proud of the D currently. I feel like it's been very successful today, especially reminding myself what we started with. With like the D is just so white, it's it's amazing. So. Well, uh, I'm in the middle of drinking a beer and changing the spark plugs. So the dinghy, I don't know if I've mentioned it already, but it dies frequently now. It stutters when I give it throttle. So we know something's wrong. Fuel is 
spark plugs, carburetor. Uh, something's wrong, so I think the fuel's pretty clean. We're gonna start with spark plugs. I don't know if they've been changed. Definitely not since I've owned it. So I bought two new spark plugs. I've never done this before. It's as easy as figuring out how to take them out. Let's put it that way. I'm loosening it right now. All right, there's the old one. Same spark plug. You know, it just looks dirtier. It's been worn, right? Do the, uh, the first ignition for you in living color. Let's see how it goes. Left handed. Starts right up. But that sounds really good. That sounds good. Look at that sunset. Look at that sunset, boo. Ooh. Ooh. A little more, a little more. Hey, bro. Check this out. Check this out. You ready? Watch this. New spark plugs, baby. And Ido's great. Switch his gear, didn't die. Spilled. Can you catch? No, it's all I can. Now. Are you coming aboard? Coming aboard. Can I come aboard, no. sir? Did you? I I got one. I got one. And 300, that's 700. They're going to get the car? Uh, it depends. Oh, you're doing it. Uh, it depends. I'm going to try. Thank you for joining us here in Annapolis. We hope you enjoyed the episode. And uh, I'm editing next week's video as we speak. Have a little coffee. We were gonna share a sunrise, but... It's cloudy. Yeah, we had a northern blow through last night, so we're bundled up. It's nice and chilly. Do we your slippers? And, uh, hey, we'll see you next week. If you liked the video, yeah, just smash a little thumbs up for us, leave us a comment, you know, all that YouTube stuff. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>